The studies are uh, full of people that have what's called treatment-resistant trauma, treatment-resistant PTSD. So these are people that are on a cocktail of eight different types of medications. They've been in therapy for uh, quite a long period of time. Um, these are, are the people that the field generally looks at as, you know, there's not going to be a whole lot of improvement, right? So um, symptom management is sort of what we can expect from this population. And what we're finding is, is something very different. We're finding that after three full dose sessions that takes place over a period of roughly three months, that uh, you know about two thirds of that population uh, no longer qualify for the PTSD diagnosis. You know, something else that I would add to the picture of MDMA, right, and how it might dovetail in with psychotherapy is that uh, these psychedelic processes, they're powerful, they're oftentimes non-linear, non-rational, and oftentimes non-verbal, right? So we're finding that uh, the more experiential forms of psychotherapy work very well with them because they're not required to be uh, linear or rational. We're not reality testing things in, in, in an MDMA session. So we're finding sort of, you know, the more experiential, the more somatic, the more uh, embodied a therapeutic process can be, the better that it, it dances with uh, the MDMA process. This is working from a completely different uh, direction. It's working completely different parts of the brain. So people that have found talk therapy not to be not very helpful with their symptoms, I think they'll have a completely different experience with, with bottom-up psychedelic processes.